So how Ow! Oh, man. <laughs> Did it three times in a row. So uh, wow. tell us your role in today's festivities. So uh, I am mistress of ceremonies, uh, helping host with uh, the Jeffs, H Hazlett and Pulver. And how, how has it been working with uh, those two gentlemen? Fantastic. I love them. No, they're uh, they're wonderful guys. They're very very different, but they it, it it works. Jeffrey Hazlett is about as outgoing and effusive a, a, an individual as you will ever meet. He's a uh, he's like big sky country. You know, he's a, he's a is a big personality, a big energy. And Jeff Pulver, who is once you get to know him, a big personality, is is a little more introverted and and shy, which is I think really where social media has become so powerful for him, uh, as for many introverts. I'm not one of them, uh, but for many people who are perhaps a little less out there, social media gives them an opportunity and a way to connect with other people. What have been the highlights uh, from the, the, the first day of 140 mm. Conference? Uh, well, one highlight would be the low light or lack of light when the power went out. That was kind of fun. Kodak, pay your power bill. Shame on you. Uh, I hear that there's a lot of wind outside, so I'm thinking something got blown over or something. Um, certainly, I would say that Mark Horvath, um, and, uh, and, and I, I, I'm embarrassed that I forget the woman, the, the two people who are homeless, who are using Twitter, uh, I don't know how you could listen to them and not feel the need to be more compassionate, the need to look at this very serious problem in our country of so many people who you know, as my mother will often say, there but for the grace of God go I. It could happen to any of us, especially in an economy like this. So to hear those stories and to step outside of yourself. Um, Mark Salisbury, I mean, not a dry eye in the house. Um, I am a friend of his both online and off, and so saw the process that he went through uh, with his brother being ill and then losing his brother. Um, a lot of times, I think, and then if you look at Drew, who did not speak today, Drew Olenoff, but he is here in the house, uh, blame Drew's cancer. You, know, you look at the way that social media, specifically Twitter, and this world of the now, allows you in a moment to connect with people at a time when you are in such pain and you're experiencing loss, but you realize that you're not alone. I lost a friend last week, a very dear friend who I always stay with in Los Angeles, 37 years old, dropped dead from a fatal asthma attack. I mean, what are we in 1925? I mean, she died of an asthma attack out of the blue, and I sent out a tweet, and the community just wrapped around me. So, things of that nature are always great. The panel with Ariana Huffington, I mean, she opens her mouth, and pearls of wisdom just kind of come popping out. And that um, panel was great with John Klein from CNN and Peter Hirschberg. That was a great discussion. I'm forgetting the fourth person on the panel, and so I apologize to you because nice lady, you were very smart on that panel. Uh, so many highlights. Kevin Pollack was funny. And I'll admit, as a rule, I don't generally find him funny, but I found him funny. I think maybe I like him better live than I like him in film. No offense, Kevin. Uh, the three comics I found mildly offensive. You know, okay. juvenile. Okay. You know, I think they're probably all about emotionally 10 or 11 years old, but that's not really a surprise. Um, I have a question for you. Yes. People online, have personalities that are very unique and they're able to express themselves. How do you feel uh, this conference, uh, you know, opens the door to uh, personalities? I mean, how, how are people interacting? Is, are, are, there, are there many people, I mean, do you feel like the community uh, unites? I think I understand the question, so I'm going to answer the question that I heard you say. Sure. I kind of How's that? Weird... You kind of tossed it out there. I, I did, I did. So I, I heard a couple of different things. I think that there's the phenomenon of people creating a persona online, which may or may not be an accurate representation of who they are in the carbon-based world. So there's that. And then there are people who, as I mentioned earlier, there are people who are introverts who for so many years have been separated by technology and kind of retreated to their their nerd world and so now with social media the doors have opened and we can all play in this space and so they are finding their personalities and maybe becoming personalities as a result of that. I'm going to go with the latter because I 
I, I have an issue with people who create personas, unless it's a, a character. I think that there are characters, whether you're in entertainment or what have you, like Howard Stern. He's a creation, he's a, a, a character that lives on the radio. Now whether he is or isn't like that in real life, I don't know, I've never met him. But from what I've been told, that's a character that's created on the radio. I'm hoping that that's true because otherwise he's a real jackass. But when you think about people who in the, in the online world are, are given an opportunity to engage, what I'm seeing in social media is that bad behavior is not condoned and bad behavior is actually turned upon by the community. So, for example, you and I get into a public conversation on Twitter and you say something that is offensive to me or maybe I say something that's offensive to you. The community will often rise up and say, you know what, Kathy, maybe you shouldn't have said that or step off, take a deep breath, maybe you didn't mean that. And so there's this collective social awareness of how people should behave, you know, the way that we're all, or at least supposedly, we should be taught uh, how to behave in the carbon-based world, this idea of being respectful of other people, being kind to other people. Think before you speak. That's something that we're learning in social media, especially with Twitter, it's super easy to just kind of type and then hit send. More and more people, I think, are the whole think before you tweet. If you wouldn't want it printed on the front page of the New York Times or you wouldn't say it to someone's face, maybe you shouldn't say it on Twitter either. And I think we're, we're in the early days of this. This is very much the Wild West. We are all learning our way with these technologies and tripping and falling down and making mistakes and hopefully learning from it.